Hello everyone and welcome to NEET Mentor. This session is dedicated for NB Diploma. We will talk about the expected cutoff for NEET PG 2023 and uh, expected cutoff will be calculated based on the seat increment in NB Diploma, uh, DNB and All India Quota Government Colleges. So stay tuned in this video until last so to see all the analysis and before this we have already published all india quota expected cutoff for mdms clinical branches for different categories and dnb expected cutoff so cumulative analysis you can do all together with three videos what government seat you can expect if you're new here uh, please do subscribe the channel and we would let you know that we want we, we provide a paid counseling guidance also so that in case you are not sure about the counseling process or different rules regulations you want someone to guide you through the process step by step at all the juncture like registration process analysis probabilities getting to know about the colleges institutes talking to the residents over there and uh, choice filling and all such steps end to end process in order to get the best possible seat in your combinations of choices budget and other limitations so you can choose to available services how you can do either you can call us on this number you send us whatsapp messages and ask how to build the package or you can see all these four packages you can directly visit neatmentor.co.in website in case you think that how i can trust then you can visit our telegram group more than 18000 candidates are added on the telegram group and they have joined watching the videos on their own and you can see the testimonials in the website okay and if you have been following you must be knowing that uh, how how trustworthy this channel is talking about nb diploma branch wise cut off okay so there are different factors different factors i would tell about different factors so the first factor is seat increment this year compared to last year in nb diploma so would it impact only in case a seat is incremented in NB diploma? No. The candidates who are ahead of those who are expecting a seat in NB diploma, they would try for DNB or All India Quota government seat. So any seat increment in government college or DNB hospital would also impact the cutoff of NB diploma and uh, in case of anesthesia the cutoff would be incremented or take would be taking positive shift by around 5000 rank almost in case of radio diagnosis you can expect like 1 to 1.5 thousand okay compared to last year in case of uh, DCH, you can expect around 3 to 3.5 thousand rank, positive by 3 to 3.5 thousand rank. And in case your rank is on the boundary line to get the seat, you should not consider mop up as the last round. You should also go for a stay vacancy round. And you need to take calculative risk, means you put back branches also. Okay, so that in case you want the seat at any cost this year. So if you're not getting the primary branch, then you should be able to get the secondary branches. In DGU, you can expect around 2.5 to 3,000 positive shift. In ophthalmology, ENT, you can expect up to 5,000 of positive shift. In TV, chest, diploma, you can expect up to 2.5 to 3,000 positive shift. So these are uh, uh, kind of government seat whether it's government institute or private institute you need to pay 
equal amount of fee in both that is 1.25 lakhs plus GST of 18 percent. So what are the different factors that you need to keep in mind before you choose NB diploma because the first batch of NB diploma is yet to pass out okay. So we would get many things after the candidate uh, first batch pass outs okay because it's new thing so the first thing you need to consider is how uh, good patient load in the hospital if patient load is good then how much opportunity you get in the hospital like hands-on academics can't be very good in a hospital because it's mostly you learn the things based on your experience your based on practical so there's no much of theory part you can expect so academics will definitely be poorer compared to any medical college many candidates do ask question like what is the difference between the diploma in medical college and nb diploma very common question those who are new to the counseling process and these courses they have this doubt so nb diploma is done from the hospitals not from medical colleges very rarely you will find nb diploma in a medical college mostly in hospital so it can be private or government hospital whereas the diploma courses which we had earlier most of them are converted into mdms degrees so rarely we have diploma in obstetrics diploma in child health diploma in radio diploma in psychiatry diploma in ortho in government or private institutes so there is uh, no much difference in terms of a scope these courses are not permitted these courses are recognized okay these courses do have bond in uh, government institutes or district hospitals or civil hospitals so you need to check like how much is the bond for particular hospital you need to know the hands on for particular branches and academics and all such things one more thing that you need to check like for particular branch if you are going for nb diploma and you ultimately want a degree so the route is you complete nb diploma and then attend post diploma exam that is dnb pdct exam post diploma common interest test and based on that score or rank you can get degree uh, or like secondary dnb seat admission to secondary dnb through the counseling process but which branches would be eligible for secondary dnb radio diagnosis definitely is eligible anesthesia eligible child health eligible family medicine is not eligible for secondary dnb obgyn diploma dgu is eligible diploma in pathology uh, ophthalmology ent and diploma in tb chest these are eligible except family medicine okay so you have to uh, think about it like which course to select in case you end up doing dnb so these are the different factors that you need to keep in mind and in case you want more information about it then you can access our paid services so radio diagnosis if we look at the expected cut off in general radio diagnosis can go up to 17200 rank and i am considering this uh, expected cut off based on the more if they encourage more seats with the pace they are encouraging with the speed they are encouraging the seats in coming next 3 uh, uh, weeks if they are able to increase uh, more seats okay so considering those factors i am i have created this expected cut off if you are looking for dgu so it can go up to 80 38500 up to stay vacancy round and dch up to 39700 diploma in tv chest can go up to 42000 diploma in ophthalmology can go up to 78000 diploma in ent can go up to 82000 
diploma in anesthesia up to 75000 and diploma in family medicine up to 1 lakh or more similarly you can look at the expected cutoff for obc ews sc and st categories if you are coming under st category except trade you you can get all the seats if you just get the qualifying score or even lesser than that ews candidates will also get so much of benefit in nv diploma so it's a good option in case you are looking to get uh, pediatrics or gynae or radio or respiratory medicine and your rank is not up to mark and you don't have budget also to go for private colleges so what option you have the first option is you repeat second option you complete diploma and go for next step write another exam dnv pdct okay you will have like more experience our other dnb candidates because you are doing four years of residency and others are doing three years so it will be more valuable wherever you work so that's also a route you should think about it and uh, you can have analysis about your own rank in case you don't have budget for private college or private colleges are not in option then you have all india quota government seat your state counseling government colleges dnb and nb diploma so which is possible in your rank accordingly you should proceed or you start preparation or you might have started preparation and do the counseling until last moment so that you can also get the benefit of a stay vacancy or a special stay vacancy if it happens and keeping the options fixed in the choice filling that you don't want to compromise with the branches or quality of colleges so that approach would be fruitful so that's all uh, from my side in this video thanks for watching